That's a decent tuna, right? guys welcome back to another video here i am out here in the gorgeous atlantic ocean i'm down here in the florida keys the second video you guys have seen um a little mangrove video i filmed yesterday but we're doing something completely different today offshore about 20 30 miles here in the florida keys got captain ron tiki back there along with my grandfather and uh they've been kind enough to take me out here kind of show me the ropes of offshore fishing down here in the keys target of the day is blackfin tuna um i've caught big eye tuna Bluefin, yellowfin, and then longfin tuna, but I have yet to catch a blackfin tuna. So this would be great to kind of complete that Atlantic slam. Um, yeah, I'm just stoked. So we just set up our trolling equipment right back there. You guys saw on the GoPro a little, little snapshot of that. But um, yeah, going out of lines, getting ready to troll. And then we'll probably jig later in the day. So I'm stoked to get out here and fish. Um, it's around 7.30 now. So we got a long day out here. I'm excited. So hopefully catch my first ever black tuna. We're already the first boat out here, so we'll see what happens, guys. Stay tuned, and uh, it should be a great video. Blackfin tuna like dark lures, mm -hmm. black and purple, black and red. The ones we catch in the troll typically are called footballs. They're five pounds, seven pounds, maybe if you're lucky. We're the first boat here again today, which is a blessing. Already? Yeah. Wow. Just reel them in real quick. Oh wow, baby tuna. <laughs> Bring an idea. <laughs> uh, but that's, that's the standard gold tuna. There we go. My first so ever black then. Up the road, so clean up the mask and get a Whew, That was really quick. This line was in the water for what, 10 seconds? Blue in there. Yeah. Seventy grams, so roughly seven ounces. All right, here we go. I'm fishing this on an eight thousand Iowa BG, sixty-five pound braid. This is a ten rampage jigging rod, shortened on accident to like a five-six because I broke off the tip. But even though these tuna aren't too big, there are a lot of sharks down there, so you have to get it up pretty quickly. The so sharks won't get to them, so. This should do the job, and we're almost down there.
Let him go or keep him? Keep him. There we go, guys. Third ever little black coon tuna right there. Tiny little guys. There we go, guys. First ever black coon tuna on a jig. Sweet. Oh, there you go. That looks like a real one. I'm only down about 100 feet. Got off. I think I got a tail plate. <laughs> Oh, nice, number six. Oh, that was a good one. I'm only down like 20 feet too. wrapped up with somebody. Unless I, unless I got a fish on. I don't think it's me. Oh, I do. What the heck? That's a nice one. Oh, yeah? yeah that's a, I mean, it's not a giant, but it's more than one ceviche. Oh, yeah. We are Keeper Blackfin. There we go. Cool, dude. Such a cool small fish. If this fish is bigger and I don't want to lift it over the side, somebody will have to get the dip net. All right, somebody get the net. Going around the bow. There we go. That's a real one. <laughs> Down on the floor. Nice. That was two minutes and 15 seconds. I think that's where I was. Nice. Oh, nice. That was a nice fish. What was that? 10 pounds, 12 pounds? All right. Let's see what I can do down here. Line out feels like I have someone on already. So heavy. Maybe I have a fish on. I guess. I mean, it's heavy. This could be a proper tuna. Yeah, this got to be a real tuna. A real one. Went all the way up to the bow. Guys, I'm gas. This thing still is probably like 400 feet ago. Feels like a real tuna. I have zero idea what this is. I got collar. What the? What the hell? Oh my god, are you serious? Look how I hooked this freaking thing. Oh my, no wonder he felt like 100 pounds. Hooked him in the tail and right in the face. Oh my god. That makes a lot of sense. Tripled up over here. <laughs> Look at that. Beautiful sight. But Sean. Feel too big, whatever it is. Well, maybe it's a big tuna. Well, let's hope so. Come back oh, that's a tuna, yeah. There we go. Oh, no, 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 no. Away from there. It's a good tuna. Woo! Nice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There we go. All right, there we go, guys. That's my new PB blackfin tuna. I caught my first one earlier today. Awesome fish. On the, uh, what was that, conventional? 30. Rock, Shimano. Rock down a, a big 
big jig deep down for us, and this guy just ate it while the boat was swinging around. So there we go. We're gonna flame. I mean, uh, lead him out and throw him in the box. <laughs> All right, guys, just got to uh, top of the drift, drop back down and keep on jigging. Just dropping down for about two minutes. So roughly three, 400 feet down, that's where we're dropping to and just jigging it up. I mean, pretty simple. Big upwelling right here where a lot of the nutrients come up to the plankton eat those, then the smaller bait fish eat those, and the tuna eat those. So full food chain over here. God, he's running. This is definitely a bigger one. Biggest one I've got actively jigging all day. No. Oh my God. Lost them all the way to the top. Oh man, that sucks. There we are. Fish on. Little guy. Woo! That's a pretty good one, right? Yeah. Ah. That's a decent tuna, right? There we go, guys. Yeah, another blackfin tuna, another sizable one. Don't think it was as big as the last one I got on the deep drop rod, but there we go. Awesome fish. There we go. Bloody mess. That's all there is, folks.